Hey YouTube, my name is Mark and this is Mark's vlog. So a little bit about myself. This is my first vlog. Um, to give you a little bit of information about myself, I am a single father, college graduate, born in Edinburgh, Texas. So I started my education at South Texas College where I went for, let's see, interdisciplinary studies that's basically a general studies degree and from there i took a couple of courses that involved kines or coaching and i got enough to i finally racked enough credits to get my associates and was able to transfer out to a university from there i transferred to the, the local university here called um, at the time it was pan am then it became utpa and then now utrgv that's where I went to school and got my bachelor's in, uh, I got a science degree in coaching, which it's kind of, it should have been an education, but since I went non-technical or non-certified, I think it's, uh, it doesn't count. It's more of a science degree because the, the reason it's, it holds to be a science degree, I think is because it includes health science courses like exercise phys, motor learning, um, biomechanics, all that stuff. I had originally intended to be a physical therapist. And so <laughs> my little way, my little hack of trying to get into physical therapy program was by taking easier courses in health science as opposed to a bio major. Most people that went for physical therapy majored in uh, biology or anatomy or uh, some sort of science class i thought well i had gotten i was actually coached by a relative who was like look take the easy route do this do that before you know it you'll be applying for pt school with even higher grades and so that didn't happen um my junior year or my like my senior year at the start i uh, learned i was going to become a parent and so that basically threw in things for a loop and uh, basically just decided, okay, let me finish this degree and squeeze as much juice from uh, this degree as I, as I can and work with what I have, right? So the reason why I'm starting this channel, apart from documenting a day in the life of a single father, is because there is a there is a void as always there's always a that feeling that we can always do better and try harder and achieve more if we just apply ourselves how true that is i'm not sure um i don't know where this will take me but it's definitely not going to keep me from trying and uh and so i'm doing this because with my current job, it's uh, it's pretty sweet. The, the some of the pros would include the atmosphere, the the people. Uh, it was definitely a con, right? But there's it, it the pros outweigh the cons as far as people are concerned. Um, the money is really good. The the camaraderie. My only beef or my only con I would say is definitely the, the schedule as a single parent as uh, other parents um, can can vouch it's it's really tough to work on that parent and child relationship slash bond if your job's in the way and it's one of those things that you can't work around I mean obviously if you have a social life you can work around that if you have a Maybe, you know, you have a gym life. That's also something that you can work around. But your work is your work. You know, that's going to take precedence. It's up there with your family and all the other things that are important to you. So I decided to start taking um, transition into IT. It was originally cybersecurity, but I had heard how in-depth that was. And I, I saw countless videos um basically stating that it's it's a very niche part of uh, information technology. And so in order to learn that, you'd have to learn 
networking, programming, hardware, and just a bunch of other general areas before you even got around to learning the specifics in security. So it makes sense to start with the basics. And so I chose Python. December of 2022 is started when was when I took my first notes on my little journal on one of Masha's videos. And I just started and, and I haven't stopped. I've been watching his videos. Like it was one of those things where I would play 10 seconds and then remember it, really let it sink in and then play and then press and then stop it, ingest it, try to understand what it meant. Especially since it's really easy to just let these videos play and play and play without really actually letting the information sink in and understand what it means. It can, it's very, very easy to be like, oh yeah, I get that. And then just keep playing next until you're tasked with a, with a problem and you're like, fuck, how did I, how was I supposed to do this? So, and then you're like trying to remember, okay, what is the steps? Okay, well, first things first, you got to create a function or create a variable and you're like, okay, this is how you create a variable. And then like the difficulty in it is also the same thing that's like, it keeps me going. It keeps me working towards it. Sometimes I think I just, maybe it's something I'm doing to stay busy, but nonetheless. Uh, now I just want to make it clear. It, it's This isn't a learn how to code with Mark video. My teaching skills are very poor. I don't think I'm a uh, particularly a good teacher. I also don't know anything about the subject. This is me learning the subject as I go and just documenting it and seeing what stuff I have trouble with, what stuff comes easy and, you know, how I'm able to use it in, in, uh, in my life outside of the course. The course that I've chosen is Python 3 from Code Academy. An uh, uncle of mine had suggested that I take a look at Code Academy. I had done it last year, but I wasn't crazy about it because it, I think I, the one that I chose was like super vague. It was one of those free beginner courses and it did very little um, Python stuff. But this one, Python 3, is pretty good. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, Mark, why would you choose right now of all the things that there are to learn? And all the time, why now? Well, with ChatGPT making it easier and easier for software developers to solve their own problems, to write their own scripts, with the hundreds of thousands of people that have been laid off of tech, why choose now to work in the tech industry or IT? Well, there's, there's something I've noticed about this is that it's really hard. I mean, depending on what field you want to get into, I mean, some of these assignments that I'm doing on Code Academy, like I'll be on, I'll be staring at the screen for an hour, two hours, and it's just like simple stuff. There's something about like solving something and working and working and like trying to think of a different solution to, to every problem that I think a lot of people aren't going to do. Um, I could be wrong, but this is me flipping a coin. Plus, I think it could also help if I think I think it could also help in your existing role. You know, there's not a lot of accountants that know Python, or at least I don't think there isn't a lot of insurance adjusters that know Python. And I feel like if you do, it just gives you a more competitive advantage. So in this particular assignment, it's asking me to create an if statement for the corresponding grades. So in this case, it's uh, if you have a 90 or higher, make it say that you have an A, if you have an 80, B, and so forth. And so the biggest thing that I took from this assignment was that whenever you're making these statements is that at the end of every statement, it's going to require a semicolon, which is, I remember by thinking then 
So if grade is greater or equal to 90, then don't forget to put the then. And also the order. I had seen a handful of YouTube videos from other creators like uh, they're actually not even creators. They're creators, but they're also like like fully fledged like software developers. I know Mosh is a really big guy um, who knows Python like the back of his hand. That guy knows chingos of programming languages. Um, Kevin Stratford, who I also learned a little bit of, uh, who I had seen, he teaches you, he gives you a good rundown of like, even like office suite products, like Excel and stuff. Um, but they, w what they failed to, to mention was the structure or the, the order. And this helped me, this helped me, um, understand that, that it's if LF and then if nothing else, else goes at the end. And so... That was a uh, two biggest takeaways from this assignment here. By the way, if you're getting into this as well, and this is something that you think you might like, definitely check out those guys' videos. Mosh. So his channel is called Programming with Mosh. Pretty badass guy. And I want to say he's got like his own website now where he he sells instructional videos. He's kind of got like his own course. I mean, this guy's just Python. He, he knows Python. He knows SQL. I think he was even a, a previous Google. I know for sure Kevin Stratford worked for Microsoft. I want to say that's that's why they put him to. I don't know if he went on his own accord. But I want to say Microsoft put him up to it to make basically like, hey, man, teach people how to use these, these programs so people can start using them. <laughs> um, and then Kevin Stratford's channel is just called Kevin Stratford. So if you've changed careers or are in the process of changing careers, definitely leave a comment. Uh, shoot me a message and uh, tell me how it's been or how it's going. Maybe you're currently in the in the process of doing that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that's in that boat. If you're picking up programming or learning more about computers as well, definitely let me know how it's going. When did you start? For me, I think my journey started in towards the end of December. Um, I've always loved computers. Uh, I was that kid that would spend more time on the computer than you would uh, on a TV. This was back in the 90s. And also, it doesn't have to be only with computers or programming. If you're currently working in the oil fields and maybe you're going back to school to either become a nurse or become an accountant, let me know. Let me know how that's going if you're taking classes online. What is it that led you to start doing that? Um, I can't wait to hear from you guys, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you and only you. Yeah, I got one virtual, got one in that dead, the only two. Man, how many times have I shown and proved? Man, how many nights I've been woke, swerving the potholes, not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road, okay? Funny how life goes. He thought he was sick, now we wiping his nose, okay? As soon as you give him your soul, and they say you're selling your soul, okay? They want my life exposed. They want to know about the highs and lows. Well, summer, all I did was rest, okay? And New Year's, all I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day, I had sex, okay? We'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen. Hey, hey, we'll see what's about to happen. I'm making a change today, the liquor been taking the pain away, I heard you was giving your chain away, that's kind of like giving your fame away, what's wrong with you, I sit in a box where the owners do, a boss is a road that I've grown into, I love you to death, but I told you the truth, I, hey, yeah. I got one lawyer, got one in that dead, the only two, and how many times have I told you the truth, and how many nights I've been woke, four in the potholes, not trying to fuck on the wheels, or fuck on the deals, I'm both of the stock holes, stay the house in the I still got no fumbles, I'm on a high one, no more on, no more on.
this one ain't come with a bundle. I'm an old man, a million of chocolate chips. And that's your time I cookie crumble. I put a skirt on a whip and a crown on a six, but there's no need to dress up the numbers. Hey, hey. Yeah, but I guess they must have any reason. They wanna know how I'm living my day to day life in the regular season. Well, summer all I did was rest, okay? And New Year's all I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day I had sex, okay? We'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay? Okay, we'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen next.